artist from Toronto, and today I'll be performing to you some songs of mine that I wrote. Um, yeah, I, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and sane. And thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to jam out with you guys. So this first song of mine is called Black Coffee. It's about black coffee when you when you throw your cup out. Obviously, you have those like grains at the bottom. And it kind of reminded me of relationships that were unsolved and unfinished and the mystery that comes with that. So yeah, I wrote it with a woman named Christina Cero. Absolutely amazingly talented and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> before or after the, the song actually releases, but um, if it's out, then go definitely stream it if you liked what you heard. Of course, only if you want to. Uh, but if it's not out, the song drops on the 9th, and yeah, just if you like it, just so you know, it drops on April 9th, so save the date. <laughs> um, this next song uh, is an original that I wrote as well at the beginning of quarantine. It's about feeling stuck and lonely, which is, I think, a majority of what a lot of people felt this year. It was such an abnormal year. But um, yeah, it's just about kind of coming out of it and, and the power and stuff that comes with that. It's called Lonely Bitch, uh, Lonely B word. I'm not so sure if I want to say that word. <laughs> but uh, it released at the it released at the beginning of the year, so in February. So it's out now, so if you like it, Definitely stream it and stuff like that. So, this is Lonely Bitch. Left feeling so confused, missing the sex debate, and know what to do. It's day 42, I'm screwed, crying in bed, like what you do. I used to stay up all night, wondering why I'm not fine. Looking up at your news and Sarah's in Lego Heights. I don't wanna feel like this. I just want emotions fixed I just wanna feel something Don't wanna be a lonely bitch 
Say chase your dreams, I try They chase me through the night Act like I'm alright Just like nothing's on my mind I used to stay up all night Accepting the thoughts of my mind Looking down on my lows Forgetting all of my highs I don't wanna feel like this I just want emotions fixed I just wanna feel something Don't wanna be a lonely bitch I just want one real friend So I can never text and send Not spending the night crying again Don't wanna be a lonely Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed what you heard. And if you did, then be sure to uh to check me out. My name is Aviv. That's Aviv, A-V-I-V, under all streaming platforms. And yeah, thank you again to We Fanny Music for having me. And yeah, enjoy guys, stay safe and take care. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Grant Owens. Thank you so much for joining us. You just heard Aviv perform for us on the show and Aviv joins us now from Toronto. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for taking the time and Lonely is out now. Uh, you also played your next single, Black Coffee, for us, which we loved and we're really excited about. Thank and you. So you are joining us from Toronto. Uh, tell, tell me about your upbringing in music, how you got into it. Yeah, for sure. So um, I grew up in Toronto. It's a pretty large city in Canada. I'm pretty proud to be Canadian. Uh, so yeah, I, I grew up uh, always like loving film. That was kind of where I was always leaning towards. I wanted to be in the acting world. I did some films and movies growing up and then slowly and slowly I kind of grew this passion for music and and love I always joke about it I always say my parents taught like my parents forced me into guitar lessons which I absolutely hated and I was always so pissed off when I had a guitar lesson uh, but then when quarantine hit I think that's when I first realized oh I love this and it was really just my only form of therapy and kind of what felt the only thing that was like real and normal to me. So uh, I think when it hit, I was kind of writing on my piano every single day music. And then slowly and slowly that music turned into what's out today. Yeah. Well, first of all, it's so funny you mentioned that you're joking about mom and dad forced you to take me out because <laughs> it's on your bio. You know? It's in my Spotify bio. It's like my saying, I always say, it. I give them credit to it. I. I literally remember getting so mad. I was like, I don't want to play guitar. I don't want to practice. And then now my parents get to say like, hey, look at you, you're playing guitar and we didn't have to force you. So yeah. <laughs> and what age would you say did, that they forced you to start playing piano and singing? Um, I think I, I started when I was nine, I think. Wow, and you're 15 years. now? I'm 15, yeah. Just nice. 15. And you already have quite a few songs out, so that's a huge accomplishment at 15. Yeah. Congratulations mm -hmm. on that. Um, I believe you were in like a group at a very young age. Yeah, so I was a part of this band called Mini Pop Kids, and it's a Canadian band. Uh, and I think like I, I think I was talking to you about this before, how it really shaped me into the world of music. I, we would do tours and go into the studio and stuff, and I think that's where I got my first raw experience of what the industry is like and yeah, definitely and you sort of felt like it was something that you wanted to do and sure. um, make your career and you you touched on the fact that you've had a chance to be very creative during quarantine we've all had to be sheltered in place for a long period of time so you know the funny thing is what what better way to get creative like there's like I've read stories of the most famous singer songwriters they've locked themselves in the basement and recorded an album and it took them a year so it's like yeah. do you feel like you were productive during this time 
you're I do think so. I yeah. think that there was so much emotion and and feelings that came with this year mm. that it was kind of just like I said, like it was a form of therapy and it was a form of like routine at a certain point. So for sure. That's so important because yeah. we all needed a, a, a way to, to let our frustrations out. So, so I have a feeling you're going to have a lot of music coming out. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've got, I think we have the next singles planned for the next year. So definitely a lot of stuff in the, in the pipeline. <laughs> yeah. So tell me a little bit about your inspirations around your music. Yeah, so I think I would categorize my inspirations in kind of two lanes, which is what I grew up listening to. Grew up, I'm still growing up. I, I yeah, <laughs> but um, I think I owe it to like my dad and my older brother. They kind of brought me into the world of music. I, I grew up on like Radiohead and the Beatles and Bjork and like all those guys. I said the name wrong, <laughs> but um, yeah, I just always really loved how their music was unique. I I'd go to like daycare and kids would be listening to the pop music and I'd like burst out singing Radiohead so right. it was never the normal kid when it came to my music style but uh then yeah so that's what I like shaped me and really made me think I want to do something different and then when it comes to music and who I look up to sound wise probably the whole bedroom pop community mm -hmm. you got Claro and Biba Doobie and I trust it was legend women love them <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Because you hear like on the radio a lot of times like bubblegum pop and then, you know, you, you, all of a sudden you hear something like Radiohead and you're like, oh, you're of the age you want to be a rebel. And it's like like the radio Radiohead is just like the antithesis of, of pop music. So it's like it's good that you got that influence because you can probably put something out that's right in between the two. It's like it's oh, yeah. pop, but it's and I think it's coming back. I don't know. I feel like slowly and slowly, mm -hmm. if that style is that genre is coming back, and I, I don't know. It's definitely coming back. I had the opportunity to do Billie Eilish's first interview at age fourteen, and now she's won six Grammys, and her and her brother put that album together in her bedroom. <laughs> they, they like they they were quarantined before COVID even hit. Exactly. <laughs> they, like, they like manifested it. <laughs> they manifested it. And um, what's so amazing, it's so raw, but like people are ready for it, right? So it's, yeah. like, it's the time for real artistry. And that's the stuff that seems to be catching people's attention. So, um, so I saw here you sang the national anthem for the Canadian prime minister. Yeah. Oh my God. It's a funny story. I was in New York and I get a call and they're like, hey, can you come sing for this event? And I said, no, I can't. I'm in New York. And then they said it's for the prime minister. Mm -hmm. So I was with my mom and she was like, no, you have to go. It's the prime minister of Canada. Like, you have to go. So I, um, I got on a plane and with my ripped jeans and crop top. And I met my stylist there because she was like, no, you can't wear ripped jeans and crop top to meet <laughs> the prime minister of Canada. So we met her there and we went straight to the event and... It was a very big flex the next day in school. <laughs> no, of course it is. Well, that's that was great practice, and and then I think you you've like have also performed for like local ba baseball shows too. So yeah, you could say that you've already performed for a huge audience. You know, before you even get there as a solo artist, you know, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure, but it's a, it's a lot of fun. I love live shows so much. It's like my favorite thing. That's, I think, the thing I miss the most about Exactly. Live, playing live is, is just so amazing, and everybody wants it so bad right now. Yeah. We try to do our best with the performance today. You know, thank you so much for playing the next single. It's called Black Coffee, coming out soon right oh yeah april 9th ah. april 9th guys go check out that song we'll be playing it on our radio show so definitely tune in aviv is the artist a v i v what else can you tell uh tell everybody listening well yeah i mean like lots of fun stuff going on definitely dm me if you ever like want to talk about anything and uh stay safe yeah. well, it's a little crazy right now so uh stay safe yeah <laughs> that's all that's a good one and, and rock out to good music so thank oh, you yeah. so much, aviv you're welcome back anytime on we found new music <laughs>